one. So, finally catching up on my Art Atelier orders. The August box came in, actually, um, I'm filming this on a Saturday morning. This actually came in yesterday. So, wanted to go ahead and unbox it right away. So, August theme was, I guess, Paris. Obviously, because you've got the Eiffel Tower here. Um, sorry, <laughs> Eiffel Tower here. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm pretty excited to see what kind of Parisian items are included. Okay, so we have, this is month stamps um, laid out here. Now, box came crushed, but that's okay because there's nothing in here that's breakable. All right. Ooh, she included a little Eiffel Tower charm. So, how many of you out there have been to Paris? Uh, I've only been once, and that was back in 2005, when it was still cheap to travel. Um, and I was there for six days. Okay, of course, um, it was cheap because one, we travel at the end of January, um, to the beginning of February. The only good thing about that, aside it, well, it was freezing cold because it was very damp, so it made it feel even colder than it was, um, is that apparently that's like, kind of like one of the times of the year that they have sales going on, um, like big sales. I don't know if they still do that, but um, yeah, I was able to find, you know, like at the department stores and stuff like that, they were having like their semi-annual sale, I think is what they were, they called it. So anyways, let's open or see what the stamp is for this month, which is unusual because it's not the typical kind of stamp that she includes, but that's okay. This is kind of interesting. This is what the cover, I mean, the top of the stamp looks like, but that's actually, oh my goodness, this thing is sticking to me. This is what the, the top of the stamp looks like. But that's not the image that's on the inside. In fact, it's kind of strange. Usually, what's on here matches here. I might have to go and grab a stamp pad at the end and um, stamp it so we can see that image. All right, so let's look at the washi. Oh, okay, so this is skinny washi for this month, and you get a bunch of them. So. Okay, there's not much on each, but that's okay. So, oh, there, that's what got, there we go. Oh, they all did, that's okay. They got crushed. So this is the washi for the month. Kind of like a, um, it's probably like from a newsprint, but I love that because this is gonna be perfect for um, doing the collages. So this is the stamps. These are the stamps, excuse me. So I definitely can use these. Um, I want to reprint all of my pictures from Paris and do it in a traveler's notebook. And I can definitely use these. So I wonder what this is. Looks like a, I think this is, that's kind of weird. I guess this is going up the Eiffel Tower, but I'm not sure. That is kind of strange. This one right here, I think that's like a staircase because you can see the people going up. Yeah, that's so interesting. Okay, so those are the stamps. So let's move on to the ephemera. And as usual, there's always a lot of ephemera. So we have our printed uh, cards here. And these are all probably These are probably from the 1800s, maybe the late 1800s, because you can tell from the dresses right here, especially. I wouldn't say late, I would say probably early, early 1800s maybe. first. Okay, so 
we've got some printed on some gold fleck um, I would want to say like handmade paper it's almost like linen so we've got some black and white images here see I don't know where that is it could be in the Eiffel Tower it's been so long I don't I know that there was like an elevator something that takes you up I have to go look online because it's I'm pretty sure I took pictures okay so we have the usual labels we have the calendar month for the the month ahead um, some miniature labels we have the vellum pieces like ledgers this one's interesting it's like an old um, invoice more ledgers oh this is nice it's a, a vellum piece here this one too I like these okay here's a small piece of uh, looks like it's supposed to be a bird but it's some kind of a design and there's like several of those inside the envelope which I'll take out oops okay more of that here we go more of the ledger and um, invoice type of things to-do list we have some um, uh, they're just like it's printed almost on um, what do you call this it's almost like onion paper but I'm not sure more of those ledger pieces and then all of these little tiny ones here I got them out all right here we go okay so they're like bird shaped from ledgers these are neat I like these so we have a lot of those and another one of those okay So that's the first set of ephemera. Second envelope here. This one I can feel has a lot. Okay, let's get the bigger ones out first. These have like the um, washi or sticker pieces yeah so you have these strips here with like months or they're from like just various pieces and these are all sticker backed um, stuff like this oh, this one's nice more ledgers pages advertisements that's interesting because that looks Russian and wait a minute what is this look at this I'm trying to make sure it's in focus that's weird <laughs> I love uh, ads like these the old French um, ads you know like that especially for um, Moulin Rouge and uh, in Momart Okay, then you have this. We've got another label. A couple more labels. Okay. Pull the rest out. Okay. I need to start really using all of these little tiny pieces in my collages. I just have to. I'm probably going to have to start separating them because there's so many right now of keeping everything in the envelopes like that. But because she does include so many of these, I might as well because I'm not pulling them out of the envelopes. Kind of like not. I would say it's because I'm not seeing them, but it's just that I'm looking for more of the bigger pieces and I'm just kind of ignoring these smaller pieces. So, yeah, I think I might do that probably this weekend as a project. Um, oh, look at this. These are 
sticker stamps. There we go. Oh, I'm like trying to find the right orientation for it. Those are nice. That'd be nice if she includes more of them next time. Um, yeah. And then here's more of them again. And then another one of those. Okay. Actually, let me put them back. These will, these little tiny pieces will um, work well when I sort them, um, or will actually, this will work well when I start to sort since um, it is smaller and I can just, you know, categorize the pieces and then be able to put them, store them away. Okay. So then the last one is with the handmade papers, the bigger pieces. Okay, so we have ads here and um, brochures. Look at that. Beautiful. Handmade paper. This is interesting. This is like, you see how it has that shiny surface? I don't know what kind of paper, what kind this is, or how to describe it. It's a very smooth, it's almost like plastic. Oh, look at that, it matches my background here. Marble, it's not shiny or smooth like that. This is more paper. And then we've got an old letter. Ooh, I like this one. I like the fact that they're printed pretty clearly. So, um, that are, this is all from the August box for our ateliers, vintage um, ephemera subscription box. So I really want to go back to Paris at some point because I've been watching these um, Paris flea market videos from these Japanese couples that live in Paris. They go every weekend to a different art estimate or um, neighborhood and um, check out the yeah, the flea market that they have there. It's like they're all on the sidewalk and they just have so much interesting stuff. Like one video there was like, they had come across a, an old suitcase that the seller had put all of these letters, just old letters, you know, that they were selling. I don't know how much the letters were because they didn't show um, the price for it. But I was just like, oh my God, if I could just buy the entire suitcase full of letters could make copies of them and then use them for, you know, doing collages. They had like old books, you know, that they were saying vintage books in French. Um, there were tables that would have everything on the tables like five euro and there would just be a whole assortment of like, you know, chachi knickknacks and whatnot, but they're just so interesting. And, um, you know, they had like antique plates that they were selling five euro and some of them are really old, you know? Um, yeah, I would love to go back cause they didn't have anything like that when I went in 2005. So I guess this is more of a recent thing that they're doing. Um, but if you ever get the chance to check out, if you're interested, um, the name of the, vi uh, the name of the couple, one of them, um, is if you look it up, it's mash Aya. Nash Aya videos, I think, or just put M A S H A Y A, and then that should pull up um, one of the well, they're the younger uh, Japanese couple, and you'll see what I mean. It's just like it's so interesting to watch, and make sure to turn on the captions because um, while they are speaking in Japanese, they do have um, they use an English um, translating program, so. Sometimes the the translation is a little off, but still, you know, you get the gist of what they're what they're saying, and they're just really entertaining to watch. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go and get something so that I can um, see what the image is. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp this image. So I have post it here. Let me zoom in. 
got my stamp pad. One that I just randomly picked up here. It's a color box distress ink in graphite. I uh, got that from Tuesday morning for $1.99. Eh, I'll, if I were you, stick with Tim Holtz. It's, it's all right. I haven't really done anything distressing with it. So, um, I only used it as a regular stamp pad. So, we'll see. It, it seemed a little dry to me when I used it. It wasn't very juicy. So, there you go. That is the image. I don't want to set that down. If you can see that. Let me zoom in some more. Oh, there we go. So, there you go. I don't know if it's because the stamp pad is a little dry, or if the um, stamp itself didn't adhere very well. Um, usually, I didn't prime this um, stamp, so sometimes you know you have to kind of prime them a bit so that they'll take to the they'll clean the ink will clean a, li a little bit better to it. Um, Sometimes I'll take a nail file and just lightly go over it, but I didn't do that this time, so I might have to, because this does not look, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep it like that. It does look very vintage when it's kind of uh, lightly done that way. So anyways, there you go. That's the haul from uh, the August box from our atelier. And I hope everyone is having a good weekend. All right? Okay, bye.